Um, okay, today's topic is going to be Faraday's law. Uh, we also call it induced voltage and induced current. And the reason why it's called induced is because there is no direct contact with anything. It's just uh, a magnet going through a coil of wire without any contact and it produces electricity. And it was Faraday uh, who discovered the mathematical connection. So in his honor, we call it Faraday's law. Um, it is, um, we also call it electromagnetic induction. So in case you ever read anything, you know, in this voltage, in this current, Faraday's law, they're all the same thing. They also call it electromagnetic induction. And uh, I don't know if you remember, we saw induction before. Whenever you induce current, uh, there is no contact. Uh, so there is no contact at all. No contact, uh, contact between components. Now, uh, they, they, before, they used to believe that uh, there was a force that moved the electrons. So whenever you had a circuit going like this, and there's a reason why I'm saying this. Uh, it, it, this is the positive and this is the negative. And, and they thought that there was a force pushing the electrons. You know, it is a force, but it's, it's not really a force of force. And so, and they say, oh, there is a force pushing these electrons. And so the voltage was called electromotive force. So electro force, and it comes from this, a force that moves the electrons. That's why it's called electromotive force, and that's why you see electromagnetic. Anyway, the idea is this, uh, and this is, we're gonna connect the right-hand rule that we learned uh, before. The right-hand rule says this, if I pass a magnetic field through this coil of wire, yeah, so, as I run a magnetic field and I use the right-hand rule, it turns out that I produce a current on the wire. And if you produce a current, you produce a voltage. Oh, and so that's why it's called induced voltage and induced current. So I'm gonna show you a video that I took right now. I pass a magnet through here, and then I pass the same magnet through here, and it shows you, uh, it shows you how this needle, so, this needle, if you pay attention, it will move. And sometimes it creates a negative voltage and sometimes it comes this way and creates a positive voltage. So let me show you the video. <laughs> 